It's been a total, complete, virtual quarantine group. We began with just a few women right before COVID-19 hit the Clear Lake area this spring. Then, quarantine and stay-at-home orders put normal life on hold. It became clear that meeting as a church was not going to be the same for quite some time. As time went on, I would get two or three or four requests a week for women wanting to join our group. So we moved to Zoom really quickly. Now we have 10 members. I spoke with each person over the phone to tell them what the group was like and give them the option of joining or not. Nobody turned me down. I think a lot of them would not have joined the group if there had not been a quarantine. I don't even think some of them knew they needed group as much as they needed group. Everyone I spoke to just needed to be connected. And that's what group is. God made us that way. The first thing out of pretty much everybody's mouth was, I just need to be connected to other people that are like-minded. Of course, that like-mindedness being Jesus. It is the most diverse group I have ever been a part of. We are made up of women aged 30 to 64 with differences in parenthood, marital status, careers, race, and family and church backgrounds. In the beginning, and this is typical of all groups, all you see are the differences. But then, very, very quickly, we bonded. And as we got to know each other, I started seeing all the commonalities, how connected we are because of Christ. That's the common thread that pulls us all together. In our short time together, our small group has experienced growth and unity in the midst of a difficult and ever-changing season, despite the fact that most of us have never met in real life. We're just making the best out of a situation that's not ideal. We have been intentional about doing virtual game nights, and we've done porch drop-offs for people needing a little encouragement. Group members call me and each other regularly to check in or just to talk and pray together. You can still do so much. I mean, there's some hard stuff going on. I feel like the group has really helped each other and been a support for each other. In some ways, it's easier for people to meet this way, not having to get a babysitter, not having to dress up. I'm really grateful for this group. I've loved all of my groups, but I have a special heart for this one. It grounds me. It causes me to want to be closer to God. It's changed my expectations of people in a good way. I'm having a softer heart and giving people more grace on certain things where before I'd be a little nitpicky. a lot of Christian friends, but group is different. Group is intentional. Group is prayer. Group is Bible study. Group is connection. Group is supporting each other. Being part of a small group now is absolutely crucial. I have witnessed just how much difference it's made having that connection. While I think that's true always, I think it's particularly true now. If this virtual connection is all we have, I'm so grateful we have it. God created us to be in community. It's what's good for us. It's what's best for us.